is out and Tacoma Dome is shining with all that sunshine. Will it be sunny near you throughout the region? I'm going to let you know in a moment. Well, Benjamin will let you know. But first, the hydros, they race across the Lake Washington at incredible speeds, and they're just a month away from touching down for Seafair. Hydroplane race boats actually have a museum and the executive director David Williams was so fascinated with these fast boats that he wrote a book about one pilot's incredible journey to move to the U.S. Our photographer Doug Dillon joins us now with David to talk about this book. Doug, what is the title? A Race to Freedom and David, what? tell me a little bit about Mira and his story. Well, he started out as a pilot in Czechoslovakia during the Cold War, and he, he flew for the communist-dominated Czech airlines. He was tired of seeing his friends arrested and sent to concentration camps and disappearing in the middle of the night. So he defected. He hijacked an airliner, flew across the Iron Curtain, landed in Germany, and then went to work for the CIA. Um, after years of working for the CIA as a reward, they gave him the cushiest job you could have, which was as Bill Boeing's personal pilot. So he and Bill became really good friends, and then in 1956, Bill Boeing decided to race hydroplanes, and he hired Myra to be his hydroplane driver. And Myra ended up winning two national championships, the Gold Cup, the President's Cup, meeting President Eisenhower, uh, moved on from hydros, and became a championship air racer, and just had an amazing life that started out as a, as a Cold War CIA agent. And, I mean, the fascinating lives that you don't know about, right? Well, yeah, and, and to be honest, that's, that's one of the reasons that I felt it necessary to write the book. He is one of the last, or was, one of the last of kind of that greatest generation. Um, you know, he, he grew up, uh, you know, he, during World War II, and he and his family hid, not, or hid Jews in the basement during the Nazi occupation, um, and then he fought the communists. And he was, during the time that I was preparing this book, I interviewed 50 different significant people from Bill Boeing to Myra to other championship racers. About a third of them passed away between the time I finished the interviews and the book was published. So it had to kind of come now because in another 10 years, the story would have been completely lost. And what was the most, what, what was one of the most, because I'm sure there's ton interesting stories that you think of uh, when you think of writing this book about Mira? Oh gosh, it's so hard to, to pick one. It's sort of like, what's your favorite Christmas present you ever got? But um, I think Myra getting a chance to meet President Eisenhower and a, and a really sort of fun story is that Myra went in to meet Eisenhower with Bill Boeing and Eisenhower, you know, it's a, it's a big deal. And Bill Boeing didn't have a lot to do at that point with the Boeing Corporation. His dad had founded it, but uh, Bill wasn't that much of an aerodynamicist. So Eisenhower starts asking Bill Boeing questions about, well, how does this speed of sound thing work? How do you get a plane to go over the speed of sound? And, and Bill's a little bit tongue-tied, so Myra steps in and, and sort of briefs President Eisenhower on how to build a supersonic fighter uh, in the White House, in the Oval Office in 1955. That oh, was, man. Uh, that is a charmed life. Amity, Super exciting. We're going to talk about rivalries when I talk to you next. Mm. It is some fun rivalries that happened in hydro racing. I can't wait for that. That sounds like a whole lot of fun. Thank you so much, Doug, for being out there. Again, the hydroplane.